well high. Adjusting my shirt. I'm trying to find where my mouse is so I can click start game. You know how Wednesdays are at this point. Three games of no move, no pan, and this one is going to be terrible. Eh. I'll just say Central Europe just to cover, like, Europe in general. Getting over 50% of that was extremely generous. Well, I love how this one's going. Since it's all just... Oh, well, fuck you. <laughs> okay, is this like predetermined just to be nothing? Just like the same goddamn row in the middle of nowhere? I've got the worst luck. I'm getting extremely lucky, oddly enough, with... Um, I have no idea where this is. I'll just say it's in the U.S. We'll say Central U.S. just to cover our bases. I got pretty lucky. Um, we were apparently on this little nugget, which apparently isn't even over 50%. Get me out of this cursed um, round of GeoGuessr. This is terrible. <laughs> just, get, just get me out. <laughs> just barely under 50%. Oh, that was bad. I mean... That's going to happen. I'm, I'm very much aware of it. However, it, it stinks when it does. Because maybe I should just not choose Diverse World. But I kind of like a little bit of the challenge here. This is going to be Northeast U.S. I don't know if the um, snow, snow blower, leaf blower is being picked up by the mic outside. But if it is... That's what that noise is. It's not a chainsaw of somebody chainsawing. What a dumb sentence. Either way, I'm destroying this round. <laughs> I'm already over the 50%, so this is just icing on the cake at this point. Speaking of which, I'll very much take that. Um, I am... Luxembourg, uh, huh? I'll click that. Man, destroyed. Look at this score. I think this might have been the best I've ever done on the 10 second challenge. Either way, speaking of icing, uh, the video that went up yesterday. Yeah, yesterday at this point. Tomato soup cake. Uh, it was one of those things I actually have heard of before. I've just never, never actually tried. And not to spoil it, because, hey, you can go watch the video now. It's like three minutes. You can spare three minutes. If you can spare the 20-something minutes that this is, the cookie one, that's three minutes. Um, this is one of two places, and it's either Southeast Asia or it's Southeast U.S. Okay, I'm, I'm glad I got the region of the world correct. This one I'm going to say, South Africa, but this is, could be Straya. I'm taking my 50-50. Yep, see? <sighs> well, this is what happens. When your 50-50 goes poorly. All right. Just barely over the 50-50. Anyway, I will have time this weekend. So there will be a video. We're above the 50%. I never mentioned what I was playing for, but I have an idea what I'm going to do for the video. It's going to be nice enough. So it'll be a bit of a surprise if that wasn't a hint in any way. But this was a lightning fast. Three rounds of 10 second GeoGuessr. We're going to come back with Daily Challenge. So stay tuned. I'll see you in a sec. All right, here it is. Today's Daily Challenge, which will be yesterday's Daily Challenge. It's my new language. I just came up with it. It's called Stroke. Anyway, um, let's go right ahead and play it. Three minutes max per round. 
Now I do remember that I stopped halfway through my thought at the end of the round last time just talking about the tomato soup cake, which is very weird, and I wonder how it actually came about. I'm going to just say this is Sri Lanka because I kind of feel it is. If not, it's going to be India. I think I've got the region of the world correct. Although I'm noticing that they don't really have the writing anywhere, but it, 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 Bangladesh? Well, maybe I'll just split the difference and put us there for now until I actually can uh, maybe get a bit more information. Anyway, the tomato soup cake, not to spoil it, it's just I'm wondering how something like this happens. Did somebody just have a can of soup on hand and they saw like cake mix and went, hmm, I wonder. I mean, you could say that about a lot of stuff, like uh, how did somebody first look at a cow and say, I'm going to drink that, whatever's coming out of that. I mean, a lot of things maybe happen by accident. It's just some freak thing of nature, kind of like how one of the theories, and maybe it's like proven now, I don't know, because my memory is terrible, about how like the cells got mitochondria in them where it was kind of like just this freak accident of a cell absorbing another like organism within it and they both kind of just went hey this is a good idea let's work together and it's been a match made in heaven for a very long time i'm not seeing any dot whatever's to help me figure out where we are uh do i want to eh, i got i got to make a i think this might be bangladesh I think I might, like, click that decision to uh, nail it in, drive it home, whatever words that I can't think of off the top of my head. But going through that cookbook, there are some weird things in there. I haven't even gotten to the weirdest, potentially grossest thing yet. Uh, I'm wondering when I'm going to bust into that one. It'll probably be the grand finale for the cookbook. Uh, which we're coming up to pretty soon. There's not many pages left in this thing. Uh, there, I know there's a few that I have to wait till a specific thing is in season to do it. The problem is I don't know exactly when green tomatoes are in season. I'm assuming it's going to be in the spring and or summer. I just need to find a place that sells them. Anyway, we're going to be behind this cargo. So oh, we're just blazing by now. Uh. No, you don't have information on you. Well, did I get Bangladesh right? I did. I'm happy with that. I will take it. Cracking the knuckles, getting getting serious. Next round. Uh, this is central, if not, oh, we're going one way. Central, if not eastern Europe, I believe. How was the weekend? Uh, mine was fine. Dog sitting happened. Oh, this is French. Hmm. I was not expecting that. Okay, this, this, hmm. I think, hmm. What could this be? Why was that van in French? The architecture and styling of this makes me think it's Eastern Europe, but why was there that one? I mean, it just very well could be just this random French truck that's out here throwing me for a loop. And I think I might play it that way, where that's just kind of a... Uh, I can't think of the word. Red herring, I think, is the right one. Get me... I guess we're not going that way. Cobblestone Road. Hmm. Well, that's the EU. All right. Now let's kind of centralize our guess. I'll put it in Slovenia just to have it, although we may be in Serbia. Although, no. Hmm. Maybe it's Romania. And click there. Kind of like... Hmm. Anything on here really... 
Hmm. Lots of train tracks. A bit derelict, I'd say. But I can't get into the town, and I want to. There we go. That's a weird water slash guard tower thing. I don't, I don't know what to make of it. But, ooh, we're getting into town now. This may help us. Why is that in French? It's the French color. No, that, that's the Romanian colors. Just kind of sun faded. Yeah, that yeah, was just an okay weekend. Dog sitting happened. It was very relaxed. I just played Monster Hunter the entire time and essentially played the entire goddamn thing. Uh, progressed as far as I can. Uh, I've done a little bit of anecdotal uh, information osmosis, I guess, about the game. <clears throat> and I guess at the end of the month, more, inf more stuff is getting released for the game. I just hope that I'll still be wanting to play that when it comes time for that information to be brought out. I got a cough. Give me a sec. All right. Pardon me. Uh, distracted again. Hello, Taiwan. Just talking about Monster Hunter, enjoying it. Fun game. I don't know if it's a, uh, uh, just like a old, how can I word this correctly? I'm trying to say that playing a Switch, you know, the handheld thing with the joy cons on the sides, after a while it really hurts the base of my thumbs. And I can't tell if that's like just me being old or if it's poor ergonomic design of the console. I went ahead and bought one of those Pro Controller things. I gotta click Taiwan before I forget. Just so my hands won't be hurting me trying to play this thing. I'll just say we're in the north. I mean, it, it's somewhere on the central and east side of the island, I believe. But, uh, yeah, my hands hurt after a while. Uh, one of those things kind of like... Uh, Maybe I'm just not used to it. Like every now and then when I used to get that urge to be like, I want to play a fighting game. And then I try to. And then those motions you have to do with a joystick on your thumb. You know, I can maybe like a half hour of trying to do it. I'll be like, oh, I get blisters now in my hand. That's great. This is just a thing. Uh, come on, focus. Thank you. But I don't do that anymore, at least as far as uh, playing fighting games. I've like broke my mind in trying to play those things because I've now gotten to the point of being so bad. I probably mentioned this three years ago because I've been playing this GeoGuessr thing for, oh, excuse me, quite a while. Mm, get some nice views. And I never remember... If I'm trying to do, like, a combo in the game, when do I press the next button? Is it right after I press the other button, or do I have to wait for that hit the land? I don't know. And it's kind of out of my brain's processing power at this point. And I'm kind of just like, all right, I think I'm just done with fighting games. I'll stick with other games that I'm bad at. But yeah, that's the weekend. It was fun. Um, I still have a week before I can sign up for any vaccinations. Hopefully I can get into it very soon. Okay, I was off. It was on the western side of the island. I got the island right, though. I'll take that. Give me... Ooh, is this Brazil? Um. Well, we went flying by the sun. Oh, fuck you. That's annoying. Brasilia. Okay. Yeah, we're... Divisia, we're, we're in the state dividing thing. Brasilia, its own little enclave here. And we're, what, 60... 62 kilometers. Uh, Tagua. 
Tinga. Am I going to find a tag with Tinga? Or Takla? I don't know how to say that. I'm kind of just looking around, but I'm not seeing it. Gama? Goyas? No. Maybe out a little farther here. I don't know if this is, those are big enough towns to show up this far out. But I'm not seeing a like a highway sign anywhere here. Maybe on this. Oh, those are some big numbers. What do we got? None of this stuff. Oh, BR. 080? Oh, here we are. The BR 080. 080, I should probably say. Um, so we are... I think on this road. And it appears to end in Brasilia here. Because I'm not seeing it come out of this knot anywhere here. Which is good. So now I know at least a region. Unfortunately, um, it looks as though it seems to merge into another road, but I'm not seeing it anywhere else here. Let's uh, put us around Barrow Alto just so I actually have a location. Uh, kind of look a P.E. Bernardo. Padre Bernardo is 45 kilometers. I think we're heading away. Dio's ear. I'm going to like click so I don't forget. Dois Iramos. Hmm. Where are you? There's Indianapolis. It, there's one down here apparently. P.E. Bernardo. Oh, ran out of time. We were right at the border. Well, it, it would have made sense that we <clears throat> it would have made sense that we're right on the border, but didn't pop in my mind. Oh, we got one more. I thought that was it. This looks to be maybe South America. Let's take a look to see if any of these flags over here tell me anything. Uh, sandwiches. That's all I got. Let's go towards the water. Is this the ocean or is this a lake? I think this is ocean. Ow. I got a cough again. Pardon me. That looks to be a go-kart track, which is sick as fuck, because everyone loves go-karts. Get me down there. I want to go on a go-kart. I haven't been on a go-kart in so long. They're so much fun. Uh, oh, it's Chile. Chile. Well, unfortunately, Chile is like nothing but coastline. Um, I don't know what uh, city this is, if this is a city or a like a town. I'm assuming we're probably up north just because it looks sunnier. <laughs> I mean, I've got... I got nothing. Oh. oh, excuse me. I shouldn't have yawned. Now I'm going to make you yawn. Uh, I'm going to try to get out of the park here. I don't know if I can. I think the only thing here is the... Uh, is the park. Yeah, I'm not seeing anything here. Yeah. Anyway. Uh, I think it was last week, the week before, was the two-year anniversary of me going to Iceland. And I think I might have mentioned this last year. Probably not, though. Just seeing all the photos of that stuff and makes me really miss it. I know that I talked about it on the City Guesser thing and being in Reykjavik that one time, but... Looking very much forward to getting that vaccine shot. <laughs> Let me tell you so I can eventually go on another trip 
I don't know if it's going to be Iceland again, but that place is going to have to come back very soon. Um, I don't know if I should be frustrated or at least fortunate because I know that there's other countries that I don't think anybody really has been vaccinated and there's other states. I think the neighboring state actually already has anybody over the age of 18 is able to get a shot, but uh, they've doled them out a specific way. Either way, I've only got to wait one more week to make the schedule. And then, I mean, in six months, it's not going to matter. I'm going to have a, hopefully I'll have the shot by then. <laughs> We're in Park Ross, and what's the name of this? Pichilemu? Pish, I don't know how to say that. I probably butchered it. Anyway, not a bad round. Pretty decent, I'd say. That's going to do it for Wednesday. All this rambling. Anyway, as I said, there will be something on Monday. I'd like to thank you all for watching. If you have any comments, questions, concerns, complaints, tips, hints, suggestions, likes, favorites, comments, subscribes, any of that fun stuff, go ahead and click them, type them. I will read them and appreciate them. And I will see you next week. No, no, no. no. See you Friday. I'm getting ahead of myself. Either way, see you.